Texas congressman now charged with a federal felony. Steve Stockman, who served two terms in the U.S. House of Representatives, spent this day in federal court after he was arrested by FBI agents accused of violating a federal election finance law. Channel 2's Phil Archer was there for Stockman's court appearance today. Phil? Yeah, Steve Stockman, a Tea Party favorite who courted controversy through two terms in the U.S. House, was brought into court today wearing shackles and handcuffs. He's accused of diverting money intended for a charity to his personal and political use during his last term in the House and of lying to the Federal Election Commission to cover it up. As Stockman stood before the judge this afternoon, prosecutors alleged the former congressman had conspired with two former employees to funnel hundreds of thousands of dollars to his personal use. According to the complaint, in 2011, Stockman set up a nonprofit called Life Without Limits in Las Vegas. A single contributor donated $350,000 to the charity, which Stockman then allegedly funneled back to himself through campaign donations made by his employees. Stockman said he understood stood the charge, Judge Stephen Smith then set bail at $25,000. When the judge told Mr. Stockman that he needed to obtain an attorney by Friday, Stockman asked, quote, you said 2 o'clock tomorrow, I should have counsel by 2. Yes, the judge said. I'll have to hustle with that, Stockman replied. Yeah, you will, the judge replied. These are serious charges. Steve Stockman served two terms in Congress from 1995 to 97, and then again from 2013 to 2015. He resigned to run unsuccessfully against Senator John Cornyn in the 2014 Republican primary. According to investigators, Stockman received a total of about $15,000 through the scheme before investigators began asking questions. If he is convicted on the charge, he could face up to five years in federal prison. Reporting live downtown at the Federal Building, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. Phil, thank you. This